These new coupe four-door designs are the flashiest new thing on the block. Marketing teams have understood that if you use the word coupe in any car's name, it makes the vehicle 10 times more appealing to the regular person. The car that started this trend was the Mercedes CLS back in 2004, and this trend slowly started to pick up the pace. Almost 15 years later, I think BMW has perfected the design of this coupe four-door design with this, the BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe. When BMW announced the M8 Grand Coupe back in 2018, I was literally drooling for hours on my laptop looking at the pictures. It just had the perfect proportions, the correct lines, the right amount of aggression as well. It was perfect in my opinion for a four-door vehicle. After the concept, the first real production 8 Series was the actual two-door coupe. Don't get me wrong, very pretty, but there's just something elegant and classy about four doors. later we ended up with this the 8 series grand coupe and this isn't the type of car if you're looking for rear headroom and legroom massaging seats or even if you're looking for champagne bottles in the rear armrest this is for the people who will compromise their rear headroom and legroom for a coupe-esque design at the back which goes and swoops back into the boot for a ducktail-esque kind of boiler at the rear and it's for the people who will compromise their ground clearance for a car that sits so nicely on the ground that it looks like a proper piece of art. If you haven't already noticed, I absolutely adore this design. Even if it doesn't have the fancy M Sport bumpers and wheels. The headlights are angular and aggressive. The bonnet is as long as Shaquille O'Neal. It doesn't look like a jazzed up 5 series at all. It looks like a statement. Hop in the interior and it's business as usual. If you know your modern BMWs, then this interior is going to be very familiar to you. In the middle, you have a massive infotainment screen which you can use via touch or this beautifully crystal encased scroller wheel over here. Up in front of you, you have a beautiful digital instrument cluster as well, which has a lot of functionality built into it. So you can do a lot of theme changes using driving modes over here and it can scroll through menus for your driving data, for your uh, trip data and a lot of other things here and there. A lot of people still get angry at the anti-clockwise tachometer it has, but I don't have any sort of issue with it. Apart from that, you start looking around the interior and you'll find even more crystal encased parts like this beautiful 8 series gear selector over here, which has the 8 series logo encased inside of it. And at night, once the lights and the ambient lightings are on, this thing looks like a piece of jewelry. And then again, you have a volume knob, which is encased in crystal. Overall, this interior is much more luxurious and much more elegant than the M8 uh, interior that we had gotten a few weeks ago. And to be honest, I prefer this a little bit more because it just feels a little bit more fancier. The seats are also really great. They have good amount of bolstering. Although a chunkier friend of mine told me that he felt the seats were a little bit too small for him. But that's not the case for me, so I'm not going to complain about it. Even though I said the back seats is where you need to swallow the compromise, in reality, they are totally fine. We Indians are genetically short, so most of us won't have an issue. But for anyone above six feet, it's quite a squeeze. But these seats are so nice. They have this bucket seat kind of design and they just hug you with open arms. You get two Type-C charging ports and a tray to keep your phone. But there are a few more fancy tricks the 840i has up its sleeves. A split panoramic sunroof and all of this. But this is a BMW at the end of the day. Luxury is one part of the equation. What about the drive? The B58 inline 6 turbocharged motor is just awesome. BMW uses this motor in a lot of different cars like the BMW Z4 M40i, the BMW Su 
the Toyota Supra A90 and basically you can get this motor in each and every sort of BMW which has the 40i suffix added to it. So if you want an awesome inline 6 motor, get the 40i's in BMW's lineup. It makes a sufficient 335 horsepower. And even though when you think about an 8 series, a 6 cylinder might not be the first logical engine that you have in your mind, this thing does not fall short when it comes to power and torque. <laughs> engine and this gearbox is a match made in heaven. I've complimented this gearbox so many times that as a petroler, I think so the next logical step for me is just to propose to this thing. The ZF 8-speed automatic gearbox that you find in this car is tuned to perfection. When you want this car to be a hooligan, this gearbox is snappy and super responsive. And when you want to be a little bit more serious and put your sensible hat on, it suits down and it's a super smooth gearbox thereafter. The 840i hasn't overcomplicated the driving experience like the M8. It doesn't have the MX drive system. Instead, it has a simple rear wheel drive setup, which means it is super easy for you to kick the tail out. And unlike the M8, you don't have the anxiety of driving a car which is worth around 3 crore rupees and has enough power to restart a dead planet. The suspension is also very smooth and comfy. To drive the M8 with the M adaptive suspension, you need to be committed to say the least. Whereas in the 840i, the suspension are as smooth as butter. There are a few downsides though. Since this is the Grand Coupe and the car is so long, speed breakers are a bit of a challenge. Then there's the price. This thing starts at 1.31 crores. And that's quite a hefty price tag with its closest rival from Mercedes costing almost 50 lakh rupees lesser. The 840i is a high price for high quality. The CLS doesn't have a petrol option in India yet, nor does the 2-litre diesel in the CLS make as much oomph, make a nice noise, nor will it drive as well. And most importantly, at least for me, the 840i looks absolutely stunning. Don't get me wrong, this is not a sports car by any means. It's a big, luxurious saloon with a hint of sportiness to it. But that does not mean it's boring to drive, it's awesome to drive. But what a combination BMW, I have to clap for it, what a combination. But another combination that I would love to see in India is the M850i. So basically the M850i is a car which has the soft and comfortable suspension of the 8 series like this car does but it has the raging twin turbo 4.4 litre V8 engine from the M8. So just think about it for a second. You have comfortable suspension, great seats, great interior but you still have the grunt of a proper M car. This is not a slow car by any means but come on, I want a V8 in this car. And the M850i is the next product I hope BMW gets. Because BMW are getting their M Sport cars into India. They are recently launching the M340i which is an awesome, awesome car. And it's a great performance car overall. That is an exciting car that should wait for a video on this channel for. Till then we have the BMW 840i. Great looks amazing engine and awesome driving dynamics. So if you're in the market for a four-door coupe kind of car, the 840i should be on the top of your radar. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you like this video. Till then, please do check out our new series called Road to Valley Run and follow us on Instagram.